Gunter Brobel was a cell biologist born 81 years ago in Silesia, now part Eastern Germany, now part of Poland. He had a colorful life. He had a idyllic childhood uh, during the Second World War. The, his village was untouched by the war and he had to move ahead of the Red Army uh, at the age of eight, where for the first time he saw his first large city in Dresden, where he greatly admired the architecture of the Frauenkirche, that's the Church of the Virgin, and a few days later, staying with relatives 30 kilometers away, saw the sky light up with fire during the firebombing of Dresden, so clearly that you could read the newspaper under the fire of Dresden. Impressed by this, later, he used his Nobel Prize in 1999 as the seed money for a foundation for the reconstruction of the Dresden, or the Frauenkirche and the synagogue there. Now, the most, so that's the colorful part. The most interesting part of Blobel's life is his science because it provides an example of the epistemology of biology. How do we do biology? In the 19th century, French physiologist Claude Bernard published a book on the introduction to experimental medicine. I once I gave a whole talk here on that. And how in experimental biology we construct an idea in our mind, and then we test it by experiment. So Blobel, who studied medicine in West Germany and then uh, uh, did a PhD in Wisconsin, he ended up in the laboratory of George Palade, who was a member of this academy at Rockefeller. And he, the Palade had discovered that secreted proteins go to the endoplasmic reticulum to be secreted while other proteins are not. And so he wanted to know how is it that some proteins go to the secreted pathway and others not. And there in the lab of Palade, he, he, te he teamed up with a young assistant professor uh, called David Sabatini. Uh, and if we could have the first slide. And they produced a hypothesis of how this might work in their own minds. There's have some interest here because David Sabatini was a graduate student with my father in Argentina. And now we have his son sitting right there. So it's all, uh, no, we can, have the, we can have the lights, we can have the lights. Uh, and so they came up with an idea without any proof. And so this was very much resistant. And their idea was the signal hypothesis. They said, well, maybe this way that proteins go into the, into the endoplasmic reticulum is because there is something in the messenger RNA in the protein, a signal in the beginning of the protein that is going to tell that pro the ribosome using a signal recognition particle. So the beginning of the protein will have a signal that will, will bind it to the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum so that it can be secreted in the microsomes. So there you have ribosomes have a small subunit and a large subunit, and so this one starts first. And they actually produced this. They said there will be a signal in the beginning of the protein that is going to put it out in the endoplasmic reticulum. This was in 19... 71, but they had no evidence for this. Now Sabatini had uh, discovered that there was a channel in the large subunit of the, of the ribosome that protected the nascent peptide from degradation. And then they, he had also found that the large subunit binds first to the membranes. Except for that, there was no evidence. And so this was very much resisted and criticized, and Blobel kept on working on this until in 1975, he could publish uh, uh, two papers with Doberstein, 
reconstructing the system in, the, in, uh, in vitro by adding ribosomes and membranes and messenger RNA and showing that there is, it's the property of the messenger RNA which will lead the protein inside the membranes and make it resistant to protease. Now, this you know, was a, it's an example of how you can come up with an idea and prove it only five years later, and, uh, and it, it proved to be correct. And so this is the famous signal hypothesis, and uh, for this he got the Nobel Prize in 1999 in recognition of this. So I think uh, he was a great cell biologist in the school of Palade, who was here in this academy too. And uh, that's what I can say about him. Thank you.